Madison in Federalist 10 makes the classic case. The anti-federalists argue that there's never been a republic over a large landmass. It's only worked in Swiss cantons and Greek city-states over small units. Republican form of governments are weak. They can't exercise the authority over a larger populace, especially spread over a large landmass. Madison makes the case for something that will eventually be called pluralism, though the word doesn't exist when he writes this. Namely, that the larger the landmass and the larger the population, the more the factions, the more the interest groups, and they will interact and collide and offset each other in much the same way that Adam Smith says the marketplace will function to create harmony. Okay? In much the same way that certain religious leaders said that the collision of various sects, S-E-C-T-S, and denominations um, will create some form of religious toleration. And it's a, it's a brilliant argument. Federalist 10 is something that you have to know to make it in any successful cocktail party in any distinguished society. Um, but Washington, this is what I meant. I mean, Washington didn't, re he got some of his ideas from Hume, did, did Madison. Um, and nobody's written about this, but I try to say it a little bit about it in, in uh, His Excellency. In the months preceding the convention, Madison, Jay, and Henry Knox, who's a former officer under Washington in the Continental Army, come down to Mount Vernon to basically tutor Washington in political theory. Okay? And, um, and it's, you couldn't ask for a better group. Um, Jay writes, too. So all three writers of the, uh, of the Federalist Papers, are, they're trying to sort of like, they know he's going to be the presiding officer at the convention. They know he agrees with them. But they also know he doesn't understand all of the intricate arguments about separation of powers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Washington knew how to lead by listening. It's something all of us can learn better. And that he's used to calling a council of war and having people tell him what he doesn't know. 